In late 2025, the solar system is turning chaotic. Four giant comets, including the Interstellar 3, I slash A T L A S, have all awakened at once. Each is erupting with jets, flares, and unpredictable outbursts as they rush toward the sun. Astronomers call it a once in a lifetime lineup, but some wonder why are all these giants active together? Coincidence or cosmic chain reaction? Let's dive right in. When astronomers first noticed multiple bright comets in late 2025, they thought it was a coincidence. But within weeks, it became clear. This was no ordinary comet season. Four massive icy bodies all flaring up at once, all racing toward the sun. Among them, an outsider, 3I-ATLAS, an interstellar object not born in our solar system. It wasn't just visiting. It was disrupting everything we thought we knew about comet dynamics. For decades, comets have been predictable visitors. They drift in quietly, warm up, release some gas and dust, then fade away. But not this time. In 2025, four of them woke up almost simultaneously. Atlas, Lemon, Swan, and 3I slash Atlas, forming what experts now call the Comet Traffic Jam of the Century. Each night, telescopes from Hawaii to Chile captured explosive activity. Bright jets, twisting tails, sudden flares that changed shape within hours. At first glance, it looked like a coincidence, four wanderers crossing paths near Earth's orbit. But when scientists checked the solar activity timeline, something strange emerged. A cluster of massive solar storms, coronal mass ejections, had just erupted from the sun. And their trajectories matched perfectly with the comet's positions. Were these comets simply reacting to solar radiation? Or was the sun itself triggering a synchronized awakening across the inner system? NASA's heliophysics team confirmed that several CMEs had slammed through the same orbital corridors these comets were traveling in, Tails snapped, jets brightened, ionized plumes twisted like corkscrews. It was space weather gone wild, and 3I-ATLAS, the interstellar one, was at the center of it all. Unlike the other three, 3I-ATLAS isn't from here. Its orbit isn't elliptical, it's hyperbolic meaning it's just passing through the solar system once before vanishing forever. High-precision astrometry showed its inclination is nearly 175 degrees, moving almost upside down relative to the planets. That's a cosmic signature of an interstellar origin. Spectral data from the James Webb Space Telescope and the Very Large Telescope painted a fascinating and unsettling picture. Its composition is dominated by carbon dioxide with traces of water ice, carbon monoxide, and atomic nickel, a mix both familiar and alien. In short, it carries the chemical fingerprints of another star system. And that's where things get interesting. Because 3I slash ATLAS isn't just a comet. It's a messenger, material ejected from another sun, drifting for tens of millions of years before arriving here. Some scientists believe it could hold clues to planetary formation beyond the Milky Way's local region. Others, more skeptical, warn that interstellar comets might also carry unknown compounds, possibly organic, that could alter our models of life's origins. So, when you have three native comets and one alien traveler all lighting up together, you get a cosmic experiment no one can ignore. By mid-October, the inner solar system became a cosmic highway packed with glowing ice boulders. Comet Lemon was showing twin spiral jets, pulsing like a heartbeat. Swan was fading fast, leaving behind a bifurcated tail, a sign of either magnetic turbulence or structural fragmentation. K1-ATLAS, still inbound, was the real wild card. It would skim within 0.33 astronomical units of the sun, dangerously close where comets often disintegrate. 
Observatories were in panic mode. Every major telescope network, from the European Southern Observatory to small backyard setups, coordinated nightly to track their changing brightness. Astronomers compared them side by side, seeing patterns that might reveal how solar radiation, magnetic fields, and internal pressure shape comet behavior. Never before had four giants been exposed to the same solar conditions, and all at once. That's what made this season historic. Each comet became a natural probe, showing how the sun sculpts matter in real time. Solar winds tore through tails, magnetic ripples bent ion streams, and plasma currents danced through their comas like electricity in slow motion. The entire inner system had become a live laboratory, one that no simulation on Earth could replicate. In the background of this spectacle, the sun was restless. Between July and October 2025, it released a series of major CMEs, each carrying billions of tons of charged plasma. These waves of magnetic energy collided with the comet's orbits, triggering sudden outbursts and violent tail disconnections. Satellite data confirmed that at least two CMEs directly crossed three I-ATLAS's path while it was hidden behind the sun. When it re-emerges later this year, astronomers expect to see clear scars, disrupted jets, broken tails, or even chemical shifts caused by ion bombardment. It's the kind of experiment no one could plan. Nature simply did it for us. But here's the twist. Some solar physicists argued the sun's activity wasn't random. The timing of its flares followed a quasi-periodic pulse pattern tied to the solar magnetic reversal, an event that happens roughly every 11 years. If correct, that means this entire comet season might not be luck at all. It could be a predictable cosmic rhythm, a solar heartbeat that awakens dormant comets every few cycles. As the data poured in, tension grew. The Minor Planet Center delayed publishing new orbital elements for K1-ATLAS, sparking a heated debate. Was it scientific caution or a quiet race for discovery credit? Some researchers accused others of withholding photometric data to secure publication rights. Meanwhile, citizen astronomers worldwide, equipped with backyard telescopes, began uploading time-lapse footage faster than institutions could analyze it. For once, amateurs weren't just watching, they were part of the discovery. The International Asteroid Warning Network, IAWN, stepped in, calling for open collaboration. Their bulletins urged observers to submit stacked imaging, raw photometry, and real-time tail morphology data. It was a global effort. Data from amateurs in Argentina matched results from Japan and the Canary Islands. Every night added new pieces to the puzzle. But beneath the collaboration, questions lingered. If the sun's radiation and magnetic storms are synchronizing comet activity, what happens when the next wave hits? Could the same mechanism destabilize asteroid belts or even influence planetary atmospheres? Some researchers quietly suggest we might be underestimating how interconnected our solar system really is. Behind every glowing tail lies a storm of invisible forces. As sunlight heats the nucleus, trapped ices vaporize and eject neutral gas and charged particles. Ultraviolet radiation ionizes them while the solar wind drags the charged dust outward, forming tails that twist like magnetic ribbons. The Lorentz force bends these ions, shaping elegant curves or sharp breaks, phenomena often mistaken for random flares by casual observers. When two tails split or disconnect, it's not chaos. It's physics. It's charged particles responding to shifting magnetic fields, sometimes with millisecond precision. Each break, each flicker, is a fingerprint of plasma behavior a direct record of how the sun's invisible hand molds matter across millions of kilometers. That's what makes this comet season so valuable. For the first time, scientists can compare four active comets experiencing identical solar conditions, 
revealing universal patterns in how energy moves through space. It's dusty plasma physics, but in 4K resolution, live from our cosmic neighborhood. What's fascinating is how this story has brought people together. In an era where much of astronomy feels automated, this comet season reminded everyone that discovery still thrives on curiosity. From school observatories in India to high-altitude telescopes in Tenerife, people looked up, united by the same streaks of light crossing the night sky. Data wasn't just collected, it was shared, debated, and reinterpreted in real time. Young astronomers tracked brightness curves using open-source software, while veterans revisited models from the 1980s to explain anomalies. Each observation mattered. Each frame captured became part of a global mosaic of understanding. And that's the beauty of it. Science as a living, breathing story unfolding right before our eyes. By December 2025, the climax arrives. K1 slash ATLAS dives closest to the sun, the moment of truth. Will it survive the heat, or will it shatter like so many before it? Some simulations suggest fragmentation is inevitable. Others think it could flare bright enough to be visible even without telescopes. Either outcome will rewrite models of comet resilience. At the same time, 3 i slash a t l a s will reappear from behind the sun, revealing the aftermath of its encounter with solar storms. Its chemical signature could confirm whether interstellar comets evolve differently under solar pressure or if the laws of physics truly hold universal consistency. That's not just astronomy. That's philosophy written in dust and light. This isn't just about comets. It's about timing, energy, and cosmic cause and effect. Four ancient travelers, one alien messenger, and a restless sun, all converging in a single season. For some, it's pure coincidence. For others, it's a reminder that our solar system is part of a much larger living mechanism, one that occasionally pulses in harmony. So the next time you look up and see a faint streak cutting through the sky, remember, it might not just be an icy rock burning away. It could be a messenger from another world, another time, another sun, whispering the secrets of cosmic balance we're only beginning to understand. As the 2025 comet season reaches its peak, the question remains, did we just witness a cosmic coincidence or the universe revealing its deeper rhythm? The answer may change how we see not only the comets, but ourselves. So here we are, four colossal comets lighting up the skies, one of them not even from our solar system. The data is real, the timing is suspicious, and the consequences could reshape how we understand cosmic cycles. Did the sun wake them up, or did something out there trigger all of this? Either way, this is not the end of the story. It's the beginning of a new chapter in our search for patterns that connect stars, storms, and life itself. If you want to stay ahead of what astronomers will soon reveal about 3i slash ATLAS's return, Hit like, drop your theory in the comments, and subscribe to Galactic Breaking News. Where space isn't just reported, it's decoded. The next update might just change how you see the entire solar system. Stay curious, and I'll see you in the next one.